In this episode of Try New Things, we're going to be restoring, we're going to be repurposing, and we're going to be upscaling this old set, this old bank of lockers here that I picked up at auction. Stay tuned. So I picked up this bank of lockers for $65 at a local auction last Saturday. Don't know if that's a good price or not. Let me know in the description below, but it's four lockers by six lockers. It's about six feet high, four feet wide. All the doors work. There were no free gifts inside, unfortunately. And I think this will do well to keep uh, some of my material and some of my uh, tools organized and out of the dust, so to speak. But there's one thing that I really don't like about this bank of lockers. So let me show you what it is. So the one drawback of this bank of lockers is those ones right on the bottom. You, ba you basically got to be on your belly to get something out of them. So what I think I want to do is build a little bit of a platform to sit these lockers on to get those bottom ones off the floor. So I'm going to do a few measurements and then we're going to run off to Lowe's, pick up a little bit of lumber. Then we're going to build a base for the bottom of that uh, bank of lockers there. And we're going to start the restoring, repurposing, and upscaling of this bank of lockers. Well, I just got back from Lowe's and when I went there, I originally had this idea that I was going to box in the entire locker system. So up the sides, cross the top, and a little bench on the bottom. But when I got there and looked at the wood, I was reminded that lumber still costs a lot of money. So we're just going to do a stand for the bottom. Future, if I want to build up the sides and across the top, we can do that then. But let's get the lumber unloaded and uh, start this project. I'm gluing up what's going to be the top panel that the uh, filing cabinet sits on. Next thing we got to do is build a frame as well that goes underneath, but this is going to sit on top of it. And then on top of this will be the cabinets. Well, we dug out our pocket hole jig and we made ourselves a simple box frame. This is what the uh, lockers are going to sit on. You can see the uh, pocket holes there that we used to put it all together. But uh, it's time to put the top on it now. So here's my box frame. I went ahead and put a bottom shelf in it. Now it's time to put the top shelf on. And the, uh, the lockers are going to sit on top of that top shelf. So let me uh, go grab that. We'll get our shelf put on and then we'll box this in a little bit more, give it some strength. So now I've got my base flipped on its side, but I want to be able to move around this cabinet if I need to, or these lockers. Now traditionally you would put some casters on it. I happen to have some of these roller balls, which normally don't go under things, I don't think. They usually go on top so that you can roll a heavy flat object across a, a surface. But I'm going to try these as my casters. Reason being I have a really smooth concrete floor as you can see here from the shine. So I think it might do okay. But I'm gonna go ahead and put those casters on and then we'll get back to work. Well fortunately this isn't a video in particular around cabinet making but I do have the base done. Let me show you how it looks. So there it is the base for the lockers. Got three openings for additional storage on the bottom. It's going to get those bottom lockers up off the ground. 
tricky part is going to be getting the lockers on it. Now for the tricky bit, putting the lockers on the base when you're flying solo. And those lockers aren't exactly light. Let me think about this one. I guess that wasn't the dumbest idea I ever had, or at least it worked out this time. But the tractor certainly helped get it onto the base, and now we've got to address the lockers. Those little casters are doing good. So what I'm doing is I'm using paint thinner to try to saturate these stickers. Hopefully they'll come off a little bit easier. I'm trying not to damage the paint too much, but also want to get these stickers off these lockers. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Just 20 more lockers to go. Now that I've got all the stickers off the lockers, I'd really like to paint the doors, but I got a challenge. I wish these were bolted on they're actually riveted on. So do I drill out the rivets and then re-rivet it back on when I'm done? I think that's the only choice I have if I want to take the doors off to paint them. Not easy but it works so we got our first four doors off the top row of the uh, lockers now it's time to put a little primer on them and then uh, a little bit of color after that Just a cautionary tale if you plan on doing a project like this that involves drilling out all of the rivets in the doors. Messy and it's going to end up taking me probably longer than it did to build the base. So make sure you're invested in it before you decide you're going to do it because it's a lot of work. But I'm one door 
over half done getting these off. It is now the following weekend, so I've had a week to think about it. And what I've decided to do is paint the, uh, the shell of the lockers. I wasn't going to originally, so I probably shouldn't have put it on its base, but if I successfully put it on once, I can take it off and put it on again. So that's what we're going to do. I've got some of the doors over there drying. I'm in the process of painting the doors. Now I want to paint the overall frame. So we'll go ahead and let that dry for a couple hours and then we'll start putting doors on. All right, everybody, the moment you've been waiting for, the most riveting part of this whole restoration. Gonna put on the doors with some rivets. So there's my rivets and hopefully I don't screw too many of these up. My plan is not to, but we'll see. There's one. So there is the first door installed. 23 more to go, I think. But that wasn't too bad. All right, to all you that hung around to the very end, we are now done and I have all the rivets in place and all the doors back on. And I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out, but at the same time, I can't wait to put it to work, start filling it up with supplies and materials and tools and help me get a little bit more organized here in the shop. But let me grab the camera. And we'll walk over there and I'll give you a closer look. Here it is, completed with all the rivets back in place. The base we built at the beginning, some leftover spray paint that I happen to have along with a couple other colors that I threw in that I thought would be fun. But it's time to put it to work and start stuffing it full of materials, supplies, and tools and help me tidy up the shop a little bit. But let me know how you think it turned out. And if you have any other questions or comments, leave them below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for staying tuned. See you again. Bye-bye. In this episode of Try No Thi No Things. Dah. In this episode of Try New Things, we're going to be...